What's up guys, StuDog here, and today I'm going to be doing my YCS London 2017 review. So this was a, a much more interesting YCS than last week at Dallas. Without further ado, let's just hop into the top 32 deck profiles. We know we had 29 spirals last week, but this week, there is a bright side. It's not 29, guys. It is, drumroll please, 27. <laughs> so, wow, that didn't really change a whole lot. 27 Spiral is still the most dominant deck by a long shot. And instead of two Tricksters topping, instead there's three Pendulum Magicians this week. So that was interesting. And then the one random Burning Abyss, and then the one Invoked. So again, Invoked getting that one random spot. Burning Abyss coming out of nowhere with the one random spot. And believe it or not, both of these guys, Burning Abyss and the Invoked, actually made top 8 at this event. And we'll get to that later once we go into the top 8 profiles. But yeah, three Pendulum Magicians, no Tricksters whatsoever. Last week we had two Tricksters along with the 29 Spirals and the one Invoke. So yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. I personally feel Pendulum Magicians second most dominant deck next to Tricksters. And again, I mean, I guess it just depends on the week. Some weeks Trickster is going to get lucky and get the spots. Other weeks the Pendulums are. So anyway, not a whole lot there. UK getting the most top spots. And then some other countries here, Italy, Germany, Switzerland, Greece, Sweden, Berg, yeah, I can't even pronounce that, but yeah, New Zealand, wow, someone actually made the trip all the way from New Zealand to come here, dang, speaking of weird countries, Canada, hype, as we go into the top 8 profiles here, oh my god, can't find it. Where did it go, here it is, top 8 player profiles, let's go, starting out. Jesse Cotton from Canada, yes, because of course there's nothing better to do than take like a 20 hour plane trip all the way from Canada to UK to crush everyone's hopes and dreams and win on, on UK soil at a European YCS, so yeah, Jesse Cotton getting in there playing spirals we also got eric beck so already two guys we know you guys remember eric beck he was in the first episode of dueling book dual commentary as he won with zodiac and apparently he's a yankees fan so unfortunately the yankees did not actually make it to the world series as they lost in that game seven in the alcs about a week ago so uh still trying to support the yankees i guess but anyway He's playing Spirals, made top eight. Congrats to him. Who do we el who else do we got up in here? We got JY Sheriff from UK playing Spirals. We got Herman Hansen playing Spirals from Sweden. We also got Mario Argrigo. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly, but he's playing Invoked. And he's playing it because it's one of his favorite decks. It's great fun to play. And um one of the competitive alternative to Spiral, so big congrats to him actually getting top 8. Yes, indeed. Who else do we got? We got Jonas Kotschel here from Germany playing Spirals. We got Michael Former from Italy playing Burning Abyss. Yeah, thumbs up. Yes, indeed. Thumbs up for sure. Burning Abyss. People are playing 10 or more hand traps, and I decided to choose a deck that does not get hurt by hand traps. I mean, Max E still is pretty good against Burning Abyss. But, um, and of course, Flying Sea, but no one's playing Flying Sea. But other than that, Effect Veiler, Drone Lockbird, Ash Blossom, not really the best of choices against Burning Abyss, so big congrats to this man right here getting top 8 with it. If only he could actually won the event. And wow, this guy, a big hometown hero, apparently, as wow, that is a huge uh, England flag right there. We got Tim Cox playing Spirals, he made top 8 representing his hometown country big props to him to believe out of this entire top eight there's only two people from uk who actually made it yes only two people tim and jy so wow a lot of people crushing the hopes and dreams of all the hometown guys in the united kingdom so i always love the top eight profiles they do for the european um ycs i always think those are very interesting and fun to look at uh, but in the end, who was the finals? Um, it was a spiral mirror match again. So unfortunately, the two guys, the invoked player and the burning abyss player, did not actually make it to the finals. That would have been very entertaining. I might have actually recorded it. Well, I kind of 
missed the finals. But in the end, Jesse Cotton from all the way from Canada comes in and wins the YCS. This is flashbacks to what Billy Brake did as he came into a freaking European YCS not too long ago and won it with, I think he was Metaphos about a year ago. So, again, one year later, here we go. Jesse from Canada crushing everyone's dreams, winning it with spirals. Big congrats to this man right here. And again, Spirals on a two YCS winning streak as they did indeed win last week in Dallas, Texas and here in London Spirals end up victorious again. That's pretty much all I got to say about this YCS. So I uh, Was very happy to see at least some originality in the top eight and um, You know Jesse, I believe he actually did make it the world's right wasn't he one of those guys like Billy Bray who made it the world's with the uh, points so the Canada hype for the win. Big congrats to him. And that's really all I got to say about this YCS. So leave your thoughts below in the comment section. And until the next YCS, that's all I got. Thanks for watching as always. And until next time, this has been Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.